Hi everybody, I'm Tom DeFreston and I'm Kieran Moward Hargrave and we're here to talk to you about our book Julia, Julia and, and the, the Shark. shark. Oh, no. that, was, that was good. <laughs> so we have created a book together, we are a couple um, and we're talking to you from Oxford, England. I have done the words and the plot of the book and I've done all the artwork and images that run through the book. And we are so delighted that it's coming out in the United States, available at all good bookshops and all online retailers on March 28th, 2023. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about the plot? So Julia and the Shark is about a girl called Julia. She is moving from the very southernmost tip of England all the way up to the northernmost tip of Scotland for the summer with her parents and their cat Noodle. They're there because her father's going to be programming a lighthouse to make it work automatically. But her mother has a very secret mission of her own, which is to find the great Greenland shark. This is an incredible animal that can live for up to 800 years. Let that sink in for a moment. There is a shark that is swimming through the ocean right now that could have been alive 800 years ago. And her mother becomes obsessed with finding it because she believes it holds the key to curing some very dangerous illnesses in people. And Julia slowly gets swept up on the tide of her mother's obsession and it turns into a fully fledged fantasy on the high seas where Julia and her trusty cat Noodle have to find a way to drag her mother back from the brink of something very dangerous. And in terms of the artwork, um, all throughout the book there are these images of birds, of murmurations, obviously of the shark and of these scenes of nature. Um, but actually, in a way, they are about Julia, because Julia is a young girl who experiences lots of really big emotions, um, things that she's perhaps a little scared of or a little bit worried of, um, but also big feelings of wonder and, you know, everything. Everything is very heightened for her. And in a way, the images that run through the book are trying to, you know, we've all got these landscapes going on inside of us of all of our feelings and then trying to make those feelings into a visual to make the kind of unseen world seen. So this book is very much told through words and pictures. So if you like either of those things, we really hope you liked you in the shark. The main inspiration for it was this incredible creature, the Greenland shark, but also about the relationships that we have with our parents and those big feelings that Tom was talking about just then. And we hope that when you read this book that, you know, life can be full of these moments of wonder, but also full of these moments that can feel overwhelming and quite scary sometimes. And we just hope that this is a book that shows you, like the kind of yellow that comes from the lighthouse, that there's always light in the dark. So this is a book about hope, about sharks, about um, epic adventures. And if you like any of those things or more, we really hope you'll love Julian the Shark, which is out March 28th. Thanks a lot.